on a one dollar you might as well call that especially the way these ones play i'll just call it see if you got a four if give me a free card how much i think he's got an ace the way he's betting it seems like an ace to me doesn't look like a bluff if he can take the shit might have even had the straight the way he checked that maybe he had ace four I don't really give a shit about the pot odds, I just want to call. Besides, these people's raises mean shit to me. After seeing the crap they play with. Let's flop the flush and take all his money. Oh, let's completely miss. What do you do? You check it. I'm not in position. What do you do? What do you do? All in? We. That's nice. When someone checks and they got a flush draw and you do that, good for you. Clap, clap, clap. Could have easily been, easily been two hearts. I might not have bet them. And then here comes the third heart. Oh, thanks for all that. Thanks for the money. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Same thing happened to me on that one dollar multi table I was on. I had, oh no, what, what, what was it? Oh no, it was. It was this, wasn't it? When I was talking and I mentioned that hand about, oh, I mentioned about how people post, did I play it right? That was when I fucked myself. But I flopped two pairs, same as that. That one goes all in, but it was a bit different than that one. And that one had flopped the straight. Why not? Why, three, six. So sometimes they flop the straight. Even then I had outs. I could have hit my one of my paired cards and got a house on there. Shitty flopped straight. So I wasn't drawing dead. Same with that. If that one had the straight. I was still not drawing dead. Hmm, I'm getting good odds. Over 10 to 1, but what do I want? Probably a 5, nah, yeah, either a 5 or an 8. Don't trust this. But for over 10 to 1, it's worth a call. Two, 20. Even though I had nothing, it's still worth a call at 10 to 1. Or 11. I was getting a lot more than 10 to 1. 13. I think I was getting 13. Maybe 14 to 1. And you're wondering why you can't hit nothing. What's the point in playing that? Well, I'm getting 14 to 1. If I play it 14 times, maybe I'll be able to win it once. Like then, I could have put a bet out there. Maybe I'll re-raise that guy, or I could have even called for a free. Even though I won't get any odds. Ah, oh, yeah, why not? Flop a straight like other people. Eight, seven, ten. And I got one of the cards. That's nice. Mm, 
14 games, if I play that 14 times, I'll, I might win one. And if I don't, it only costs me 30. Bet, call, minimum raise. Call, call. Or will you go all in? Check, check, all in. It's nice when you have the hand, you know what they're going to do. See, this guy over here, he's a check when I have something good. People like that, you're better off having in position. That's when the deal the button doesn't, you don't really want it. When you get people like this, you'd rather play them in first position so you can check to them and they'll just feed you. Okay, check, feed, check, more food, check, all of it, yay. Rather than check, check, and then maybe they'll bet, call, and then maybe they'll check, raise, fold. Hmm. Well, well, I have one over card and an up and down straight draw. Ten high backdoor flush draw. <laughs> for all my chip, you can have it for now. If you're gonna keep doing that, I'm better off blocking the straight on you. Fold. Fold, fold, limp, fold, raise, all in. So raise him or call him. If he's got a flush draw, that's good. If I call, he's putting it all in. Unless I just raise him. Well, I think that was a real bad call, but. <laughs> okay. Maybe it looked like I was bluffing. Also another reason that was probably good, probably that was a good example of why you shouldn't bluff in these games. There's a nine there. And they called, queens. Well there's a king there I meant, a nine, yeah there's a nine too, could be scared of the nine. Could have a set of nines, I could have a flush draw, I could have, well a king and you're losing with your pair of queens. But then again you can always hit your queen. If he keeps playing like that, one day he will. And the other hundred or so times he won't. It's nice. I was also thinking earlier about how they randomize these cards. And the best way I can describe it is, it's like a poker table. And the dealer never stops shuffling. That's how they do this. It's like you're playing poker and the dealer never ever stops shuffling. He just shuffle, shuffle. During the middle of the hand, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. The end of the hand, shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then he just throws one out. Shuffle, 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 throws one out. And that's how they do this. Like now, it's constantly moving, I'm sure. This second it's a two. This second it's three. So on. If I, Depending on how long I take, different cards come. Maybe he's got a queen. Do you bet or check? Ah, he had a queen. Nice for him. Well, 
that's how you can describe how they feel these, which it might be right. Why? Uh, well, maybe it's not, but why? Nah, I was going to say why there's more bad beats on here, but it probably isn't. But it's not like a ready shuffled deck. So I don't even know if the odds count on this. Would they count? If you sit there shuffling it continuously during a game and then just throw a card out, does that count the same as if you already shuffle it and just leave it there? Because that means all the cards are constantly moving. Normally when a queen would be at the bottom, it's flying about everywhere and it could end up at the top. 